ever wonder why they had closed public schools in a place like Arlington, Virginia? With 77,418 unique views for a story that was the third most viewed stories in ARL Now. Published on March 9, 2020, Arlington's first confirmed positive COVID-19 case came on a day in which the Dow had plunged 2,000 whole points. And perhaps the realization that the world was about to change started to settle in. Because the market has cosmic forces that tell us these things, perhaps. Bad things happen in threes. And the individual who tested positive was an individual in their 60s who recently returned from international travel. Not anybody in the school, just some old guy who went over to someplace international. And he came back home to the most, the home of the most government scientists in the entire nation, where they helped to develop the safe and effective vaccines. And in a pandemic, most people tried to follow the science, right? We're still trying to find the zoonotic source, and Dr. Fauci says we may never know. But we need to trust the scientists. The very first case in Virginia was reported at Fort Belvoir. A whole bunch of military folks on March 7, 2020. You know those military folks do interesting things. But the very same day that they were celebrating a St. Patrick's Day parade with over 2,000 participants marching down King Street wearing green, led by the city of Alexandria Mayor Justin Wilson, an executive at Amtrak when he's not doing mayor stuff, and an avid runner. And why would you lead a parade during a pandemic? Didn't they recall the thousands of people who had died after some folks had tried something like that exactly during the Spanish flu pandemic in Philadelphia in 1918? Who on earth would decide to party and celebrate during a deadly pandemic? Unless, of course, you're on Provincetown and you're fully vaccinated in 2021. Even if it was to promote the purchase of war bonds on a good patriotic cause. But at least to folks in Alexandria in February 2020, it sounded like a perfectly good idea to say, kiss me and give me COVID-19 in a pandemic very intelligent. But to be fair, even the Virginia Department of Health had confirmed on that very day that public health officials cautioned that evidence has not been seen of COVID-19 spreading in Virginia and said the risk is low. So they really weren't taking too many chances. But this virus has fooled at least some of us before. And it isn't stupid. And just six days later, at least according to my math, on lucky day March 13th, checking dectophobia, just four days later, at least according to my math, the Arlington Public Schools ranked the second best public schools in the entire state. In the most educated by credentials municipality in the Commonwealth of Virginia, with 234,000 residents, of whom 94.9% age 25 or older hold at least a high school diploma, and 76.3% hold at least a baccalaureate degree, with 96.6% of households having access to a computer and 93.4% being equipped with broadband internet subscription, very connected community. Educated and Enlightened announced it was closing school starting Monday and had expected to remain closed to the end of the spring break in April. But did you ever wonder why? Maybe it would help to do a little mental time travel. Hop in our time traveling DeLorean to do what scientists call MTT, taking a mental flight back, a mental journey back to those days 
not quite far back as the Parthenon, but into the pandemic and beginning with the first case reported on March 7th. The next big news day headline came with the press release from the Virginia Department of Health on March 9th announcing that then a whopping total of two Virginia residents in two different parts of the state had tested presumptive positive for COVID-19, which is not exactly the same as confirmed positive case, and just said, as they said, a presumption. And not all presumptions became actual positive cases. You know what happens when you presume. Okay, maybe that's assume, but they were just flagged in what was an abundance of caution, just to make sure, just to be on the safe side, perhaps. But still, the state health commissioner, a Dr. Mohammed Norman Oliver, a family physician who used to work with Eskimos in Alaska, and may have even lived in an igloo, get in blue. Let Virginians know that these Two presumptive cases had marked the fourth and fifth presumptive cases in the Commonwealth. Wow. Five possible cases. Five whole possibilities. That's a lot. And maybe in science that is enough. In significance, statistical significance for a press release in a state with a population of over 8.4 million. One case was identified as a household contact of a case previously identified in Fairfax in the northern region of the state. The other case was a resident of Spotsylvania County in the northwest region of the state. But the two cases were not even related. They didn't give it to one another and had to have gotten it from somebody because getting a virus is a function of coming into contact with someone with the virus, right? I'm not Andy Rudy, and this is not 60 Minutes. I feel it's considerably shorter. And remember to get vaccinated and boosted when it's your turn. Empirically, like a scientist. This message was approved by Major Mike Webb. Honest. <laughs>